Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Andrew Bats again. We're here today. We're going to test out two bats. I got my old Easton Stealth SC900. It's an old 3229 BESR bat. Uh, I used this when I was in like sixth, seventh grade, whatever, forever ago. Um, worn out. It has a rattle. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's got a rattle. Uh, no cracks as far as I can tell. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we got an old, it's still sealed. It has this uh, plastic seal on it. Actually, you can see the sticker on here. They bought it from a like a Goodwill store or something. It was $9.99. Um, and this bat is probably from the 80s or 90s. It's a 35 inch, 31 ounce. It's a Adirondack big stick B4T. Um, the barrel is two and five eighths, so it's a, you know, it's a full size uh, baseball bat. But this is when they still allowed uh, weights greater than or less than drop three. So this is back when they had drop four, drop five bats. 35 inch bat, drop four. I bet we can hit pretty hard with it. I'm excited to try it out. Let's get warmed up. All right, so we're all warmed up, took a few swings. Um, we're gonna start out with the Easton SC900. Uh, this is gonna be a little odd for me because I usually use 34 inch bats. So a 32 inch bat, I haven't swung one in ages. So let's see how it goes. Exit speed is 86.6 okay. miles per hour. Sounds better than Ready. it hits. Exit speed is 92.8 miles per hour. That felt good. Ready. Ooh. Exit speed is 89.2 uh, miles per not that hour. Great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nothing. Come on, baby. All right, so we took, you know, like eight swings. It only captured a few of them. Um, <laughs> the grip's so old, it's so dirty. Uh, it's just rubbing off onto my hand, so it's pretty bad. But we got it to 92.8 and 89.2 or something. So, you know, right around low 90s, maybe, uh, for the Easton. We're gonna move on to the Reebok now, or the, we're gonna move on to the Adirondack. Oh, wow. Oh, that felt good. I didn't read it. Ooh. Exit speed is 91.7 miles oh, wow. per hour. Ready. Oh, come on, baby. All right, so that one went 91.7. It did not feel like that. Um, it may be because length and you know lightweight uh the drop so i might you know probably faster the bat speed and more leverage from the length so <laughs> exit speed is 88.2 okay. miles per hour that's what i thought the last Ready. one was Ooh, cool, cool. Exit speed is 91.2 miles per hour. Another 91. Ready. Ooh. 
Oh. Oh, wow. Exit speed is 92.7 miles go. per hour. 92.7, that's exactly Ready. what, that's point one off the east end. So I'm sensing a trend in these comparison videos. Apparently they're gonna wanna be one off. Uh, it's getting pretty dark. Mevo's struggling again. Uh, we're gonna have to find a place where we got an open field, so uh, it works better without the metal behind it. Exit speed is 89.9 .9 miles per hour. Didn't get it. Ooh. Nothing. Nope. Nope. All right, y'all. We just finished taking swings. Um, I might, I might go ahead and test out some more on another day. It is pretty cold tonight. It's only like 50 degrees now, and then the Mevo was struggling for the east end. It only got like three of the swings, I believe. Um, and one of them was 92.8, that was the highest. I got 92.7 with the Adirondack, but I want to test them out again because I think both of these can go a lot higher. So, Easton, 92.8, and the Adirondack, which is brand new out of the wrapper, um, 92.7. So, pretty comparable, once again, just like the Vectoro. Um, I don't know. I'm usually higher than this. Hopefully I get back up higher. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos soon where I'm trying to beat my personal record. My personal record with wood was 95-1 and then BESR metal, the old Vector O, that was 97-1. Uh, that was back in August and I've been doing a little bit more strength training than speed training. Uh, but now again I'm switching back to speed training. So I'm working on pushing up the exit velocities, maybe try to, uh, to get up to around 100 on soft toss. Uh, it's going to be a little tougher with it getting cold out. I might have to do it indoors somewhere. Maybe I'll find a facility where I can record at, whatever. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys would like to see my you know, daily training, my uh, full hitting sessions, anything like that. Um, and then I have two more bats coming up. I don't know if they'll be in the same video, different video. Uh, or if we'll even compare them against anything, maybe I'll do metal versus wood, uh, see how that goes because uh, obviously metal should outperform wood, uh, but you never know. So once again, thank you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do, um, and let me know what you want to see.